Today's date is June 18, 2015, and I come to bring you Deal Extreme Package Unboxing number 35 and video number 185. I do apologize that I've been away. Well, technically I've not been away, but I have not been uploading any videos recently. Due to the fact that I recently purchased a bike, and of course, I'm trying to get back into being fit and... I guess, just being fit and really exercising basically. So this item that we have here is from Daily Extreme, of course. It is the 2000 Lumen 4 mode white bicycle light slash headlamp with two Cree XM-L U2 blacks. And of course it comes with times four 18,650 18, uh, batteries. So we have the manual here. The typical Chinese on one side, English on the other. We really don't need to read that. It's basic things. Uh, press once for the low, press second times for the mid, and press again for the high, and press again for off. And of course, it just tells you on how to safely charge it, make sure that you're watching over it, just in case it just all of a sudden catches it on fire. So setting that aside, we have the um, battery itself. I, if I remember correctly, this actually this package got stopped by the customs Canadian customs because of that battery. So do be careful when you're ordering it. But nonetheless, it works well. These are the silicone that attach to the handlebars or the headlamp. If you do get that adapter. Simple silicones, you got the small one and then you got a larger one. For bikes, please use the larger one. And what we have here is the charger that goes into the outlet, which then plugs into the uh, battery that you see over there. Simple dual prong US, uh, North America, I'll, I'll, I'll call it. And of course, lastly, we have the light itself and an empty box. Um, when I first received this, the front section where the lenses are was actually not evenly placed on there. I just had to unscrew it and rescrew them. Oh, it sounds wrong. I just had to remove them and then reinsert them. As you can see, I'm tapping the glass because I can sense that when I shook it, I can hear them just rattling. And it's a bit raised, so that was the main reason. So of course we have the connection. Once you plug it in, there's a screw point, which you just tightly screw. Well, not too tight, but screw it on. You have three indication levels and the, of course, power on. And there's the lights, 2000 lumens, and then mid, high, and then off. And I'm trying to basically figure out, because it says there's four modes. So I'm trying to figure out right about now on how I get the other modes, but that's about it. The next few clips that I'll show you guys is how it looks like on the bike with testings indoor and outdoor and in the dark. And you'll be able to see my new bike, which is, of course, a specialized Hard Rock 2015, the basic model. So this is how it attaches to the bike. So you have the three levels lighting. Do please note that keep the battery and the light unplugged until you absolutely need it because the battery, well, the light itself will drain the battery at random times, well, during the course of it being uh, plugged together. I'm trying to remove it one-handed, so, to show you guys. But I can't, so, oh, there it goes. I got two. So I have it mounted on the frame, top tube frame, and of course my speedometer is going crazy because of it being plugged in. Do be careful if you have a wireless speedometer, it will do that once this is plugged in. I found a trick, but it doesn't work anymore. Usually once it's on, I quickly turn it off and quickly turn it on and it brings up my speedometer again. If you are gonna ask, that speedometer is by Specialized also. So here's how it looks like on the front. And of course, we're gonna test out the indoor uh, lighting. So here we have the first setting very bright <laughs> please just be very careful when riding out on the roads because you will definitely blind the drivers the cars anybody who's driving a car coming the opposite lane oh they get mad 
that's the mid and that's off well that was high in mid so what you want to do to turn on I actually found out is turn it on and then hold it for a few seconds and now it flashes so this is the lowest setting but on the double times flash so as you see you'll be able to still see but be seen also at the same time which is perfect what I need it for so uh, the next shot will have a low light and of course I'm just gonna turn this off because it's probably very annoying in the video now it's on low mid and then high again and then off and yeah we'll cut to the, next, to the next clip which is outside at my local park local rec park and here we are outside you see my gloves in my backpack so this is low in this type of condition that's how my bike looks like yeah I've put about 1328 kilometers so far and, and I only picked it up back in April 15 so yeah doing well doing really really well I'm actually going to be buying a road bike so videos might not really be that often anymore I'll try to still be and that's mid and we're going to be doing high and then of course the flashing mode and this is high it's still you're you're still able to see out there whatever's in front of you in this type of low light condition and of course we have the flashing well what <laughs> error error there it, there it is I pressed it once by accident I didn't hold it and that's how flashing looks like and of course the last clip that we will have is the darkness testing complete darkness nothing in front no lights no nothing at all on top of a hill so this is the low light and we're gonna turn it to the mid that's mid and then high and then of course lastly the flashing Again, I'll try and upload more videos, but I can't guarantee anything, guys. Just keep and uh, stay tuned to my Facebook page. And I guess I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to check out my Facebook and Twitter account, and also previous and next video are just on the left-hand side. And I'll see you guys on the next video.